For features of this machine, it has the four column design for our hydraulic line. This is a 300 kilonewton testing frame. It has hydraulic freestanding grips in the crossheads, which will grab the sacrificial stud, which is holding an adapter for your threaded 505 holders. These grips are loaded up to 5,000 pounds, locked in place so they can't move, and you've got your alignment. With the 300 SL, you have the piston design, which is virtual friction free, which gives it a great calibration range. 0.2% on this machine, it's calibrated from 120 pounds to 60,000. The SL line is completely configurable. You can have a fixed standard height head, fixed one foot, two foot, or three foot head, or in this case, I have a three foot adjustable head that you can move to different positions for different type tests that you do, whether it's your specimen length, or you have bigger grips in here that you need to test something long. As you can see, I can move the head down a good six more inches down to get a longer specimen in here for this type of test. All the machines are configured basically the same in the SL line. 600 kilonewton, a 1,000 kilonewton, 1,500, 2,000, and 3,000 kilonewton frames. They're all similar design and can be configured the same way. So the SL line can be configured for different tests, tensile, compression, flexure, peel. So it's truly a universal machine. It meets or exceeds the ASTM standards, the ISO or British standards. These machines are all over the world and meet the standards for each specific country. These machines have proven the test of time. They have been in service since the 1950s. We have retrofitted a bunch of these machines from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. The old dial machines that once were the standard are now being retrofitted with new electronics, new pumps. You keep the frame, put a new pump and electronics on, and you've got a brand new machine. With the virtual friction free design, it, it makes it last 50 plus years. As long as you're taking care of the frame, it will take care of you. These frames are configured in a bunch of different ways. You can order it without the four columns and get a compression only machine to save money. If you just do compression of two by two cubes or four by six cylinders or six by six cylinders, you can configure a compression only SL that will meet your needs and save money. Get these with a safety screen, protective screen that's interlocked. So when you open the door, it stops the test. This test is gonna be testing a threaded round bar similar to this. Right now, I have a sacrificial stud in place with a threaded adapter, which threads on to the threaded specimen. Again, not having to take these grips out to put a round holder in. I am using the hydraulic grip with a sacrificial stud insert, and I grab the stud, put my specimen in, set up my automatic exensometer, to the correct height and begin testing. For demonstration purposes, I've already got the specimen in place. So now I'm going to set the test up to run a threaded round 505 with a two inch gauge length with an automatic extensometer, which will stay on to failure. Anybody that knows testing, when you're pulling a 505, you're going above typically 20,000 pounds, it will make a, a good bang when it breaks and with the hydraulic grips actuated here, it keeps it from bouncing and moving around after break, which is why we can leave the exensometer on to failure. Once the test is done, I, I can insert my next specimen and keep going under a high production environment. The machines come with Horizon software. The software gives you the ability to, to get repeatable results between the machine being calibrated to tight standards, whether it's ASTM, ISO, ease of use with different operators,
different operators can log in as themselves. You have traceability to track any changes they make in the software. You also have network connectivity where you could have this reside on a company network. So anybody that has the privileges to log in and read the data or the test results can pull the data and format it in Excel where they want to uh, print a PDF of the graph. They have that ability to do that without having to walk down to the lab. It can also be shared company wide. So a location in Pittsburgh can also share the results with the company in Houston and they can make sure that their product is within spec.